Oh, I'm really sorry. Peep in the cup time. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, oops. My bad. <laughs> okay, l let me let me let me let me try to fix this. You know, the funniest thing is, Heist did the exact same thing on his video, didn't he? There we go. <laughs> now, last but not least, the Betsy. <laughs> That's not Betsy. <laughs> no. Can you not, game? Please. There we go. Uh, you need to get a, a break. There we go. Take a break. <laughs> Yeep. Yep. No, that's not the right way around. Ah, there we go. I fixed it. Feel free to join the call so it's easier. Oh, okay. And I'm having the fun task of actually finishing up the balloon loop because I have to come... I was just explaining to Mikey. I have to come from both ends and then see where they line up in the middle and then fiddle around with it to make sure they line up. Nice. And then... I have to reconnect the cars now. Yeah. Yep. The good thing about the naming convention I did, which is NLF for narrow log flats, is because the tier one flat cars can also carry steel pipes, when we get to that point, we can just have a different livery color and a different code, so while they're both tier one flats, they'll look distinctly different when you're driving them together. Yeah. It's a good idea. Alright. Yeah, can somebody um, help me couple? Yeah, uh, let me let me get over there. <laughs> I'm busy laying the balloon loop. The um, switch is already in for the feature proofing towards the ironworks in okay. like 10 streams time whenever we go around to that. The bad part is these two are too close together. Okay, so that one, let me connect that. And then I need you to just, oh no, you're fine. Okay, pull it back. Okay. Oh, stop for a second. Okay, you can pull back. And I think the rest of these are still good. Feels like there's a Boricon on one of the cars. Oh, yep, that's... There probably is, yeah. Uh, okay, that one. Yep, there was a break. Okay, good. All of them are connected. Um, If you want, we can pick up this car and I could just put it behind. Um, fair yeah, warning, let's pick up that one. Okay. Fair warning, because we're on realistic physics difficulty, the Betsy is going to be weak as piss you know, going along anything that's not like a 0.5% grade. Got it. So yeah, keep, keep that uh, in mind when we're laying the tracks to the sock logging camp and sawmill. I will remember that. Alright, you can... Uh, you can back it up. We have to stay realistic, so that is very... Bad at power, so yeah. Uh, the track ends just ahead, so. Yeah, I see that. Oh man, there's a little bit of a kink here. Hopefully, that doesn't do anything. So give me about five minutes. Only one way to find out. The logs and the balloon loop should now be usable. Nice. All right be better than my uh, previous attempts at just building a little there's, siding there's and then still, there's still gonna be a kink in the track where I had to um, use freehand to merge the two sides together but the majority of it is gonna be 50 meter curve so as long as everything's going through at a slow pace you'll be fine all right is that the picture you just sent yeah, that's right, me fiddle time because that was coming from both directions at a 50 meter radius. And you clearly, if I was to continue 50, they they wouldn't meet. So I had to delete one of them and then lay it wider. And then for that final bit, do freehand. Yeah. All right. Is all the handbrake stuff? Uh, yep. All right. Let me just test this curve. All right, we can test this curve. I have a curve. feeling I won't go through. Uh, let's 
see, I need to turn it this way. Bring it out here. Probably use some normal track here now. That will log these trees so that there's no trees in the way. Did I make it? Oh, kind of a uh, tree stops me. Uh oh. Oh. I'm. Re oh, okay. I'm real. Ah. Uh. Whoops. <laughs> Rift car number two. Uh. Uh oh. See if you can pull ahead. <laughs> I'm trying to. It's not working. Okay. All right then. Let me uh. Take this car then, and let me just re-rail it because that tree did not like that car being there. Okay. And should be able to back up, and I can connect this one. <laughs> here we go. Oops. Let's try not to go all um, Mikey speed demon over here. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> oh yeah, I just remembered the, um, because of the winter up that they've actually raised the speed limits on some stuff. Oh yeah, so, yeah, I heard all. about that too. So, um, the issue is I believe some, most of the wagons, they haven't raised the speed cap. So your loco could theoretically pull it so fast that you cause the wagons to glitch out and eat dirt. I did see that. All right, you're connected. All right, now let's test this. All right, where's the end on this bridge? The, the end of the bridge is just ahead. Facts. Wish this fence wasn't here. Cause... Can we build stairs in this game? That'd be nice. Theoretically, yes. By very like by essentially going ballast and just heavily grading it. Oh yeah, I guess we could do that. Um. What the? All right. In order to go, I uh, you need to clear some trees. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna build. Uh, that didn't work. I'm just. I'm already clear of it, so you can do it. All right. I need to build. Just uh, there we go. Something like this. That might mess the train up. Okay. So um, I I don't I don't know where to go from here. I uh, I guess we're just. Wherever we end up is where we're gonna end up. If I isn't there I, a map in this game? Yeah, there is a map if you hit M. If we need to. I can. If we need to, I can pull up railroads on my extended just to see where we've laid tracks so far as compared to where we need to go. Yeah. So Although I haven't really tested it on a when I'm on someone else's map. So I'm not sure. Oh. Oh. Speaking of jank, sounds like he just binned it again. Betsy just got really loud for a second, and I thought it was right behind me. <laughs> I was going to say, no, no, not off the bridge, but that's okay. So if I hug this like little hill here and I keep going, it'll take us to the north, just north of the sawmill. Um, I think the closest to the depot is the sawmill, I, I believe. You mentioned earlier how you tend to hug to the south and then swing in from the south should i just keep doing that i i, I tend to do that too but if i recall correctly from the last map i played on where i did a, a somewhat jankier version than the version kaisen khan did where they put in like all these different switches to allow you to say go from the logging ah on, yeah yeah we could do something up like to that the smelter or up to the iron mine something like that yeah, That's we could do something. That's before like... when we get to the smelter. Right now, the two most important things are get the logging cam connected for the logs, get the sawmill cam linked in for the log pond. 
because then we can offload all the logs in, which then fills up the lumber and beams. And then once both the lumber and beams and the log pond are filled up, then we can mine. Okay. Um, all right. So then I, I guess what I will do is I'll build a little switch here. Uh, I don't know if this is going to allow me to connect. And this will... Oh, it's not going to allow me to do it. I wish I could build... Huh. Um, hmm. I was going to say, I wish that I could build a switch on this bridge here. I don't think it's going to let me do that. Yeah, it's a bit more finicky now without that. Yeah. And even if it did allow you to, you'll very quickly find that it's going to have a low ballast and then just start floating. Oops. Uh, you should be able to use rail 3 for that high up. Because 1, 2, and 3, that's essentially how much ballast you'll have. Mm-hmm. Which you'll sometimes find that if you try and lay one, if you're above the certain height, it won't. It just won't let you. Yeah, so you I, I noticed that right now. Ah, okay. So, there we go. And now, now I should be able to build a switch. There we go. Except that's... Personally, wherever you can, use circle mode. It will help in the long run. Okay. Because if you're traveling at like 30 miles an hour, and you'll track them so wibbly back and forth mm -hmm. can have some issues. I got it. I, I, personal I... preference, you are the streamer, so you get final say. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to fill this in because that looks really... Below here, there's a... Uh... <laughs> How that? high can I build this? Ooh, okay, I can build it up to there. Oh, but that... There, there's... Uh, there, the... <laughs> ah... This 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 looks terrible. The ground here. I can I can go under the switch. All right. Um, might be able to kind of do something like that. Oh, but that's also gonna do that. Okay. Huh. All right. Um. Well, maybe I won't do it this way then. Because that looks fine right there. Oh my god, it was a good thing that I wasn't on that switch. <laughs> I was going to say that, yeah. <laughs> Demolish that. Okay. So, one problem that I see here is the track that we just built goes all the way to the ground. But when I built the switch in, um, it left a gap underneath the soil. Not that that's a huge issue. It's not a huge issue, but come like five streams in the future and so one in the chat goes why is there a gap there we're gonna have to explain to them for the 10th time the level ballast on switches compared to the level ballast on normal tracks is a bit junk yep oh ah there we go now that that looks better okay so i had to build uh, okay oh i yeah okay this is fine um <laughs> there there we go. Now that doesn't look better. What? Why? Why this? Is this snow on the track? Yeah. I guess it, we could say it's snow on the track. All right, hold on. Let's try this again. Well, um, well let's see if I can go past it, and well, if I can go past it, and that's good. Yeah. I, I. I. Okay. I guess if you can go past it. You just need to add an extra track, so, you know. Here, I'm just gonna... Real quick. Uh... How do I... Okay, you know what? Hold on. I, I'm, I'm just gonna demolish this. I'm gonna just fix it real quick. It'll be a lot easier if I just do that. Do it this way. Okay, the bullet loop's a bit janky, but it is not as janky as it just was. 
Oh, okay, that that's a lot better. And now what I should be able to do, now that I just did that. Wait, hold on. No, uh, nope, don't want to build it that way. I guess I could actually build it that way. Okay. And I am going to grab this real fast and just bring this out this way. There we go. So now that looks a lot more natural. It's just piles of snow at this point. <laughs> And so I guess we'll go that way at some point, and I will just for now carry on with building the track this way. Where, where's the bridge? Bridge. I just had an idea. What's that? Right, looking at roads on I extended, so I can actually see like an overview map of where we've kind of like track. The short freight depot loading thing kind of connects into the yard and then up to where you guys are. The yeah. The longer one currently has a straight bit of track that I've just laid through it and has not connected up there. I just had an idea where the longer one could maybe be the one that <gasps> keeps into like the lower ground and eventually goes up this logging camp. Mm -hmm. And the ones you guys are on right now, that could be the one that keep, hugs the um the hill and eventually goes up towards smelter and iron ore. And then at the sawmill itself, there can be like some track work there to connect between the two. Okay. All right. So. Wait, what happened with you? You were like doing something. Well, I, 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 I removed the bridge. I never confirmed it. Oops. Gr screenshot of the um, current um, track profile being joined up into the channel now. Well, that's, that's we not going to work. So okay, we can try something like that. I, I need to demolish so that. You, you, that... Can see, you can see how janky the um, balloon loop is, but you can also see that I've already put the switches in to allow extensions to go down towards ironworks. Which yeah. Which is probably the third time in about, what, third time, what, ten minutes I've said that? <laughs> <laughs> I tend to repeat myself. Sorry about that. No, it's, it's okay. Okay, I I don't know if this will work with Betsy, but I mean it should be able to. That what, right, um, that little piece of wood right what there. What grade might... have you laid it to? Uh, zero percent right now. Okay, so on the level, yeah, that should work for now. As I am um, personal rule of mod, when any amount I make, I usually try and limit myself to three percent or shallower. Mm. That way, you know, conventional locos at least have a chance of getting up here. Because if you go like 6%, then you're pretty much going to be using Heislers, and only Heislers, or, sh or Climaxes, and not Shays, because if you've looked at the track of effort, the Shays are absolute crap. Yeah. Like, worse than Montezuma crap. Okay, the right track's good. Go okay, to the cool. left track again. All right, take that to there, and I think I'm just gonna leave this now as groundwork because I'm I'm just gonna keep keep hugging the uh, the wall here. So, oh, I I like, you know, I I didn't know how I was gonna feel about the track building, but I I I really. Can you switch the track to the it left is one? So, yep. so much better, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Once you kind of get a hang of it, it, it really becomes easy to use. Oh, that tree. Oh! I don't know if anyone else saw that. <laughs> I did. Hey, hey, of the jungle, watch out for that tree! Yep, that tree just did a, a swirl. <laughs> Alright, the, the switch you is... Need Huh? Tornado. Yep. Oops. I think I think it might be a good idea if we um, build the track to the sawmill so we can get some loads. Uh, 
Okay. Well, I. All right. So. Uh, logging camps where you get the logs. Sawmills where you have to deliver them to. So should I just build? Should I should I just build it this way and go north of the sawmill, or just build the track to somewhere in between and then we have some sort of like kind of Y um, intersection? I would say hug the hill, go north of sawmill, and start heading up towards smelter and iron mine. Then we can have like a, a few triangle Y junction things to connect all the various bits of sawmill. Okay. And then, if I recall correctly, right after the um, the major Y I've done on my map for sawmill, the track then splits in two. One of them going up a three percent grade, then hugs the other side of this mountain range that we're on. So okay. like, imagine following and coming back around to have it as a direct route to iron mine. Then the other. Alrighty follows through the valley up to smelter and then from smelter continues on via the dev suggested route you know that little clearing that they put in into the side of the hill yeah that is supposed to be the proper way to get to the iron mine which one no one actually does okay but again that's that's further on if we could just be Talking all about this is probably going to confuse us, so focus on the map. Yep. <laughs> I'm laying track to get over to a logging camp. You guys are doing up towards, like, to the east of Sawmill. We'll figure something out. Yeah, in we'll between. have to meet somewhere in between. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ooh, that's a little... Jam. I think you forgot to delete a bridge. There's, like, one right underneath me. Uh, what happened about a bridge? It's right um, before the switch. Oh, I build a bridge. Let's see. Yeah, where do you want the bridge? Oh. There's, a, there's an extra bridge there. Yeah, it's because I needed a, a way to get over. Um, I guess with this here, I, I don't need that anymore. Because <laughs> now I could just walk up this. There we go. It's good to see that Betsy can get over that. Without absolutely. Yeah, I was a little, was a little bit confused of that. Mm -hmm. that. That was just a, a footbridge. in it, but that, that's, that's okay. Coming right now, so I'll test it. Okay. Ah, bugger, I did two-time curve. Yeah, oh, yeah I'm doing some tight track. curves here as well. No, I mean, my I did a 100 meter radius curve, but I did it a bit too long. Mm -hmm. So now, instead of going around through the valley, I'm pretty much about to hit hill directly mm -hmm. and because you can't do tunneling in the game yet even though heist and friends were able to find a way to actually you know do tunnels in the game i have to relay everything which is simple it's a lot of straight track i can just go delete 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 fix it up watch my language because i know you're streaming so i don't want to <laughs> hey, you know, it's okay cause undo stuff Okay, um, this is actually... Looks good, I made it fast. Did you make it fast? Yeah. Okay. Put this little bit up here. I might have to... I might have to uh, fix that little section right there. Okay, I... so instead of 100 meters, do 150, I should be fine. I think if I do that, and then... I don't think I'll make a pass with the tree, so you can remove it now. So like, okay. train doesn't go in space. Yeah, let me uh, let me let me just plop this little section down. Betsy space program. In the 1800s, that's how they got to space. <laughs> yep. For Ro for Robert Goddard, there was just one man, John Rawlinson. <laughs> There we go. 
enjoy the new section of track, except for this little... Ooh, that's really tight. Alright, let me try to test it. Yeah. 50. Oops. It just full speeds it. Good for 50. Okay, let's see what this looks like. I kind of just freehanded this with a bunch of trees in the way. Wow, that's actually almost perfect. Whoop, goodbye tree. <laughs> oh. There we go. And where will I take this now? Okay, I guess I'll just... On the bird. Yep. Just take, keep taking this Going this way. On the road again. I'm, I'm afraid of like making it seem like really weird. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna need to bridge this because it's. And I guess I could ballast it, but that, that would be really. Some of that ballast might be above ground. Or I mean. I think you can make it past. Just, just you know, you have to go slow. Yeah. I, I would recommend. Oh, you're using a bridge. If you were using normal track, then I would always recommend having ballast. Always. Oh, yeah. It would probably also help to have, um, like, some sort of, like, contour map of the game, such as Verizon Extended Up, so mm -hmm. you can follow contours. Because right now, you're looking to enter a contour which you could probably follow all the way around. Yeah, so I, I'm just going to hold right where I'm at right now, and then it should get to a section where I can make a V. One that goes to the smelter, and then one that connects to the sawmill. Oh, I don't know what I did, but I, but I just um, I just spawned back to the depot. Okay. Hopefully you're doing well on this Monday. I don't... Very well. So I was reading a chat message. Oh. I'm going. I'm, I'm doing well. Okay. So. Well, I'm stuck at the depot now with the, with uh, Betsy. Okay. Here. You know what? I can. I can. Uh, I'm gonna make a little office building here. Uh. Might look a little weird. I think. All right, if you go to your map, you should see... Oh, yep, you teleported to it. Yeah, sorry about that. I just wanted to know what that was. Yeah. I'm learning how to play this. We are also learning how to play this. I haven't played yep. since, like, a million years ago, so... Um, they have a new, like, track laying system, which... I, I'm not sure... I didn't know how much I was going to like it, because, it, you know, it's kind of weird, and it was new, and kind of scary. But... I think I think the last time that I played was like during. That was a long time ago, yeah. Yeah. Uh, how did that look? There we go. I just bought it the other day. Nice. Well, what I remember of it is I did have a lot of fun. I never really got too far, though, because as you start playing, you get into the mountains. And then... Um, hello, tree. <laughs> and then... Uh, but I play alone, so it takes me forever to do anything. Yeah, that's how I did it, too. That's why it always took me forever. And then eventually get to a point where it's like, I don't want to play alone anymore because it's going to get super grindy and it's just monotonous. That's, and then that's... you encounter the bug, which I mentioned earlier, which then makes you go, what's the point of playing multiplayer then if every five minutes you're going to crash out and have to completely restart the server? Yeah. Because that's actually the only current fix for the whole crashing out when you get close to a loaded train bug is the host has to do a complete restart of the entire game. Mm-hmm. And, which is fine-ish if you've got like three people, but if you've got like oh. ten people on and either, and any one of them crashes out, 
cool. Just like doing the new style the entire server for the 10th time in 10 minutes. Yep. All right, so I, uh, ooh, I don't, is this, I don't know where I'm at. All right, I'm, I'm going to need a rough, uh, you, you know what? You seem to be paralleling good... one another. Huh? <laughs> you seem to be paralleling one another on those that I extended. Because I can see, I can physically see the track you guys have been running compared to the smooth, serene curves hugging the ground on mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you? I see you. I, okay, he, you know what? The good thing about the telegraph office is it gives me a reference point of where I'm at. So, uh, I'm just going to build a little telegraph office here in the middle of the woods. Oh, yeah, I'm the, right the there. I get to log, the moment I get to logging camp... Make sure you're on your most I'm sure he's... Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. But I play a lot. Yeah. Um. I, oh. Yep. Okay. So now I'm just gonna take this straight. This will be the easiest bridge I've built in a while. And then... Cool. And now from here I can lay straight track. Almost collide into your track, which actually oh, yeah. now I think about could give us good way to um have junction between the two tracks. If we were so inclined, of course. Oh yeah, where did you get those um, pictures that you sent in the chat? Oh, the um, screenshots? That's me screenshotting yeah. the map on roads and I extend it. And then me using signature to on top of it. Is that like a link or something? I think it's our Discord I... server, right? Uh, no, it's um, it's a third party software thing you can get. Um, Heist and Khan don't really use it, but I use it all the time. Uh, can okay, you send that to me, please? Because I actually want to, like, check it out. All right, I... Yeah, well, I'll send a, um, a public URL of the, the map itself. Now, the issue is that because I'm not the server host, a lot of the things such as teleporting around and super speed don't work properly, because ha it has to be the server host's version of it that they're uh, out for it to work um all right, well, all right thanks. also i've just noticed that there is a impeccably placed clearing of trees in a straight line oh there you are you're just here okay <laughs> yeah but, but if you but if you look where i'm standing and then look oh yeah right here the camp, <laughs> there's just this one lane of just Perfectly clear area. Oh, wow. Uh, I wonder, were they planning on, like, saying, hey, this is where you should build your track? I don't know, because it looks kind of steep. Yeah, I'm looking on the thing right now, and it looks like we're way off. Well, yeah, we're just going to keep along this, this tree line here, and then... I, I don't know where to go from there. <laughs> Should I leave that there? I'm just going to leave that guy right there. This stealthy feels like cheating. And that's why Heist doesn't use it. <laughs> you know what? You know what this is? This is where we go old school. Let's take the map. Let's take a screenshot of the map. And we're going to open up the uh, paint uh, Photoshop software. And we're going to start drawing in the train line with uh, <laughs> the paintbrush right, that's tool. That's exactly what I'm doing with snipping tool. Like, those bright red lines are my very vague ideas of where I usually do track and where we could do track. Mm -hmm. And then once we actually, like, start building the sawmill itself, that's when we can start it really is. things out a bit better. It really is trial and error. <laughs> like, honestly, if the teleport thing... Still was working. I would already be jumping to a logging camp and a sawmill to actually lay down the base track for like this is the loading area. This is oh, the yeah. bypass track. This is stuff like that because. Okay, I think I, I like the build... way Khan have done it, where they have the log pond track, then they have a bite, then they have a, a pass through track next to that, then they use some crossovers so that you can go from the lumber and beam loading track either back down towards logging camp 
or you can swing across, crossing over the log point track mm. to then swing up towards smelter and iron ore, or even down to depot. Oh, and I really hope that tree doesn't mess up the train. Uh, hopefully not. Okay. And then um, my own edits on that make it so that the loading track for lumber and beams is actually a dead end. Yeah, I'm stuck on this train. Let me back up. Okay. But we can get into that later. Yeah. I have this distinct feeling that if I keep talking, we're going to lose like five or oh, we've got uh, four views. Like two, three of the four views will just be lost because they'll be like, what? <laughs> We know what we're planning in our heads, but as far as explaining how we're planning it... <laughs> What's that extra track that I'm looking at the map, and there's like some red bit thing? The red bit thing? Yeah, it's like a line. I don't know what it is. The, the olive color, that's ballast. The orangey color, that's bridge. Um, no, I mean the, no, I mean the red. Oh, the bright red? That's what I've hand drawn in using the snipping tool as to ideas of where you could go. Oh, okay. And you can also kind of see what I was planning with the track I was building, and now I've edited it somewhat. Okay, so I think if we. We're probably going to have to build bridges in this, aren't we? Because that right there heads into the lower ravine. So. If I, huh, I have an idea. If I make it wrong, well, see, if I if I do it incorrectly, I have to fix it. And so, it does, is this track going right to the sawmill? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna turn it this way, and I, mean, I think we're gonna make it, like the V here. Honestly, the track you guys are making, I would say, have that hug the hill you're on to go up towards iron ore and smelt away okay and then build a y in so that you can swing over to smelt without swinging your current track over all right that's what i'll do then uh all right so, so gonna... similar to the first snipping tool picture i sent Blam. Not the, like the one with like the depot yard thing that was just me screenshotting roads and i extended then the okay. first one after that that starts when i started snipping tool Okay, so from here, we'll start a right-hand turn. Um, let's see, kind of like this. Can you remove that tree so I can, like, you know, test it? Yeah, yeah. Let me just build this right here. That might be really tight. Yep, that's really tight. I'm going to have to fix that. <laughs> Um, so here we'll start a little bit of a bend that goes this way, and I'm going to build another one that goes this way. Oh, shoot. Yeah, just stop right there. I'm going to need to demolish this, uh, this second switch. While I'm at it, I will also demolish that. Uh, all right, so yeah, there was no way that I was gonna that I was gonna make it. Uh, oops, that's a little too low. Uh, whoops. Obviously, I don't know what I'm looking for. Okay, so game, can you please? Ah, there we go. Head this off this way, oh, and I, I can build the second switch here. Uh, this one. And then I'm gonna have it. Huh, I don't know if that's gonna work. Might have to shimmy this. Blam, there we go. Let me, let me, let me do some lumbering. Lumbering, let me do some lumbering so we can see things. And we'll 
Oh, okay. Uh, wow. All right. Uh. Huh, okay. I guess that works. Game. Oh, wow, that definitely wasn't going to work. <laughs> that would have been a really tight turn I was doing right there. Uh, okay. Let me try that again. So, I wanted to bring this this way. And the problem is... It's a little sharp. Okay. Ah, yeah, that's still really tight. Okay. Right, I'm on my way. I don't think any bigger it, trains will make it through like this. Camp? Yeah, yeah, we're I building towards the logging camp. camp. The... Uh, you guys, I thought you guys. Oh, you're. Ooh, I'm seeing the stream now. Like, oh, Do you oh, see how yeah. tight that is? Yeah, you're not gonna make it. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. I'm not Back gonna make it. Back it up. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 stop, stop. Those flat cars are not going to make it. You are going to do that. Holy <laughs> shit. All right, so. Plan B. <laughs> Meanwhile, the tightest curve on the section of track I've is Plan B car just quit. Is 250 meters. I'm literally using three foot gauge now gauge track, and yet laying it like it's a class one main line. <laughs> I mean that works. Like if you were to look on routes like Sand, you will see that compared to your line, my line is smooth. <laughs> You're professional at this, okay? <laughs> no, no, I am not. <laughs> All right, I am that's not good. fucking professional. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to use a bridge, because clearly my original plan... <laughs> uh... Ooh, that might be really tight. You know, if this works, it'll look really, really cool. And if it doesn't work, then it's going to just be a sad idea that was once in my head. I'm quite close <laughs> to the sawmill. I'm going to stop when I come back door. I'm going to at least lay down the, the basic... Um, there we go. The That's a lot nicer. <laughs> Careful, the track You just is... have to go slow. That's good. Yeah, you just yeah. have to go slow and then I, I think the fun bit will be, based on the vague idea of what I'm going to do at sawmill... It will quite literally be a case of I've laid this bit. Now what you guys need to do is match it. Yep. All right. So I'm which going will, to. Which sounds much easier than you would think. Oh, I could actually jump up here. Uh, that's not the right track. Ah, okay. So now. Oh, I just ran out of fuel. That's great. Whoops. Like, okay. Do you have any more wood? How about we try not doing that? Yeah. Okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah, my fire is just at 93 Celsius, whatever that is in Fahrenheit. Uh, cold. You mean hot? How many degrees Celsius did you say it is? 93. 92. Jesus Christ, if you're not using water cooling, I would be telling you to turn off your computer now. No, the fuel and the... Uh, and Betsy. Oh! Fuel <laughs> oh, I thought you meant your PC itself. I was like, Jesus Christ! Ah, you know, that's not okay. gonna work. I don't think Betsy will do that. Oh, Railroads Online. Yes, we were playing Railroads Online. Hello, Bear. Wait, Welcome let in. Actually, let me just... Let me just check my... Uh, my computer settings because I, I i can actually just look at my temperature Bear, do you want to join us do you have railroads online oh i really hope this four hands the better <laughs> well mikey the speed demon's back so yeah. oh yeah oh nice i need to start playing that game again yeah i'd love to join and help all right yeah if you want to join in i can give you the code uh, you just need to make sure that your download region in your Steam settings is set to U.S. Detroit. And uh, I can send you the link when it is done downloading. 
Well, the bad news is my uh, my GPU temperature is at 180 degrees Fahrenheit, and oh, my wow. CPU is at 175. <laughs> <laughs> and that's and that's for full fans. A non-freedom units. We're not talking cheeseburgers per corporate bailout here. We're talking puppy <laughs> units, Celsius, Kelvin, what have you. Yeah, my yeah my GPU is at 99 percent of you know using, oh, and I. Yeah, I'm getting a, I think I'm getting a new one. I don't know. I'm still thinking about getting nice. it. Nice. But, but my computer sounds like it's about to take off, so, you know. You know, that's what my computer sounded like when I first... I I decided to, like, change my run 8 settings. Um, because I saw some people running at a higher FPS than I was, and I was like, oh, okay, let me try this. And then I started noticing that my computer was sounding like a jet engine. And I'm like, yo, I got to turn this down. <laughs> yeah. My computer is pretty good. I mean, I have like an i7 and 64 gigabytes of RAM. So, you know. You know, now that I'm doing this, I have no idea where I wanted to take this track. Um, do I have a gradient on this? <gasps> I do. No wonder it's going up. I was wondering. I'm like, why is the... Also, for the giveaway, I got two bay covered hopper packs, so I might... Oh, nice! That'll be fun. Alright, so... Yeah. <laughs> Let's not... Wait, do you want me... Mateo, do you want me... Um, I forgot to speak English. Do you want me to test this out? If you want to. Alright, I'm just gonna build... Right. Oh, I'm stuck. Hi, stuck. I'm physicist. <laughs> Alright, I gotta run back now. <laughs> Oh, I, uh, the, you know, it's, uh, it's a little bit of a decline here, which is bad because you have to go uphill. Yeah. Okay. So now that I'm here, I'm, I'm stuck on the wrong side of a bridge. All right. I mean, I think this, oh, 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 no, 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 no. I, the car just went up in the air, like maybe like a foot off the rail. So you need to you need to redo this. <laughs> I'm gonna do that in a second. Um, it's probably a good thing that we're testing it. Probably. Oh yeah. Uh. Okay, now I can go back in game. All right, can I can I fit? I can't fit here. I I, I would like to walk on the bridge, make things a little bit easier. Um, how much how much do you want me to um back up? Uh, I, I'm I'm on my way back. <laughs> we'll 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 make to the. I I don't even know what I'm saying. We'll get to the sawmill first. You can just stay right where you are. Okay. This is a good opportunity to cut down some of these other trees. Okay, we'll be I'll be able to join in a bit. Just got us. Okay, sounds good. There we go. The bad thing about that incline is you're going down empty, but when you're going up, you're loaded, which is that's a good point. bad. <laughs> that's yeah. a good point. Because because if you're going down um, loaded, you'll be fine except for the brakes. But if you're going, you know, it's it's still bad. You yeah. Because you're going the opposite way for the, you know. Yeah. Here, back up to the switch. I don't know how far I built this. <laughs> RO is updating. Okay. I don't want to remove this bridge and then have Betsy go flying to the sawmill. Oh, yeah. so, suddenly, Physicist is over there and he's like, wait a minute, why is Betsy upside down next to my track? All right. I wonder how Might far... Might be the speed demon, that's why. Yeah. Speaking of, um, if anyone else is looking at the only ten, you're probably starting to guess what I'm doing. Possibly. Okay, that's... Here, you want that kind of incline? That's like 10%. Oh, 
Good luck even getting a Heisler off of that. Ooh. There we go. Now that might actually be a lot better. Wait, you said 10% grade. Oh, well, it's because it was, it was for some reason, when I got the switch, it pointed up the mountain. And right here, the mountain is like almost straight up. <laughs> Y'all got some spicy have, curves. We do. Do you have... Oh my god, not even, not even the trains know when I can go up that. 10% grade, even some rack railways, like rack and pin railways that use like gears and stuff to climb it, are shallower grade than that. Alright, who wants to bet that... Oh, that looks really ugly. Nope, not gonna do this. Let's try that again. Ooh. You know okay, now I'm confused of which track goes to which, because the switch that I'm at has a track that's not even connected, and then there's like 80 different tracks connected, I don't know. Okay, so you just want to turn. We're going to go left here. Okay, oh, no offense, geez. but while RO is updating, I might drop by... Oh, no, it's fine, Bear, don't worry. I am... Um... Yeah, about the way you're currently going... You should have been still hugging that original hill. No, no, but that's going to go up. That's towards the sawmill, though. Yep. No, no, no. Right. I'm just going to do screenshot what okay. I'm seeing on our extended compared to what I imagined you guys were going to do. Should be 20 minutes. Okay, sounds good. There we go. This is a lot nicer. I mean, that's a little bit of a kink right there, but it's not too bad. All right, I, I would like to see this. <laughs> Posting in the channel now. Okay. Ah. Oh, you wanted us yeah. to go that way. Yes. <laughs> All right, hold on. With, uh, okay, you know what? We, we can make something earlier. like this happen. <laughs> so that the, first switch that I have there. Um, that, that could easily be used for, like, the smelter, maybe? Yeah, yeah. So but I was thinking about yeah, having that go to the smelter. Um, we can definitely try to make another switch a little further back to go anywhere else. I don't think I'm going to make it up. Really? Actually, actually, I'm doing like, pretty well. So that's good. Like back when you were hugging the area, that's why I imagined you'd be booing the Y to go up to Sawmill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this... Oh, man. I... This section that I have here, uh, I'm going to go towards the Sawmill with it. And then... Wait, does this mean I have to back up again? No, no, it's fine. <laughs> I hope that... You're you're fine. Okay, good. Imagine doing this in um, single play with that, having a locomotive, and then you're like, okay, like, I'm finally done. And then you, like, were there, and then you have to fix everything else. That's one of the good things about um, multiplay. That is true. Yeah. All right. Hopefully that doesn't do anything. And that looks like it's going uphill, but it's not. The, the, it says the gradient is 0%. <laughs> looks like an illusion. Yeah, it does. Alright, so I'm just going to take this out this way. Never mind the guy. I was just going to watch into the stream. Oh, okay. Ooh, good opportunity to... I'm probably just going to have to demolish that now that I built that. It's okay. We'll test this section of track I'm building later. Kind of, though. It'll be fine. Yeah. She'll be right. And the only reason I was building this is because I, I wanted to try and connect the sawmill to the... Ooh, that's a 7% grade. Uh, connect the um, sawmill to the smelter. Oh, Okay. <laughs> Whenever we manage to do that. Yeah, update's almost done. Oh, okay, cool. Um, alright. So now that I did that, I guess... I, I'm gonna have to build a bridge here. Bridge to your heart? Nope. Uh, 
let me just bring this this way. Uh, uh, why is the game having me build the bridge that way? That's the wrong way. Oh! Oh, I fell, I fell again. Okay, you know what? Let, let's stop trying to do parkour. Yeah, parkour is really bad in this game. Yeah. Okay, so if I... See, I don't know where oh, I'm getting... Oh, that actually kind of works. Ooh. Oh. Wait a minute. No, if I go that way, we're going to have to build a bridge up and over the mountain. So, I guess what I was planning here is probably just going to come to a dead end. Or we could have some sort of, I don't know, weird, like, bridge yard going on here. The update You know what, you know what you... You know what you really could do is you can store some extra cars if you really wanted to. Yeah, we could. All right. This isn't going to work. Or some, or some extra um, locos. You could do that. Could. Oh, that's going to be a really bad, like... What is this music? <laughs> Uh, again, oh no, I can't. I can't music, even hear anything. I, I, um, I, I've turned the music off in game because I usually have um, Heist's me the former Railroads Online soundtrack playing instead. Uh huh. So right now I'm just hearing silence. Oh, uh, the, the music sounds really creepy. It's like Dion, Dion. <laughs> yeah, I have. I have everything off because I have your stream open, which is muted. I have oh. the. Discord open, which is, you know, obviously, you know, playing sound, so, yeah. you know. So, I, there's no sound, so if something derails, I just, I have nothing. I mean, I have the sound effects still on, I just don't have the music on. Does that make sense? Makes sense, yeah. Okay. very like okay so that's gonna go that way and now that i did this um it's really janky but mateo was just trying to be fancy <laughs> okay if you're not on the bridge good i'm gonna demolish this bridge there we go <laughs> poof Le poof. um i'm gonna go back to the depot so i can get wood i'm kind of running out okay sounds good Okay, what's the code? Uh, I sent it to you on uh, Discord in a DM. You might have to check your message requests, uh, Bear. I just need somebody to back me up so I don't derail. Okay, let me let me let's 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 go back there. We'll build a little telegraph office and we can just teleport. I know. I, ju I, ju I just lost the car. Oh, just did you? The car. Yeah. Where? And one flew up. And we oh. have to count the cars to make sure. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I didn't see any. I think one just lifted up and then it came back down. Uh, the prob it, it must have been uh, the desync. <laughs> and uh, Bear, make sure that you are also. Uh, U.S. Detroit in your download setting, or in your, uh, yeah, your Steam download region settings. Hey, nice. We have a rear view camera. Oh, you do? Okay. So you can see everything? <laughs> no, no, I mean that for the stream, because I'm oh. launching the stream. Oh, yeah. Hey, bears in. Whoever got the link to Razor Extended. If you were to look at the sawmill right about now, you can kind of see the triangle I just put in, and you could theoretically backtrack your track all the way back. And heck, I could even put a switch into my track that I lane to walking camp to nice. connect to that truck to connect to that Y. <laughs> That's probably what I'm gonna do. And then you from that Y, I'll probably have like another Y a bit further up. Mm -hmm. to connect to the bypass tracks and to the log pond and then from there following the same drawing i did earlier nice silly to have the spurs to start going to iron ore and salt 
Storm, not Storm, Alan Snelka. Mm -hmm. This is actually pretty good, so, because, you know, like, because we yeah. can test it again of uh, when and, I'm done. And also, you will notice something important. The loading track is a dead end, and you essentially have to back into it to load, mm -hmm. because only some tracks you'll be able to access the loading track. Nice. So I'll add some complexity, to, so you're not just driving everything everywhere in the same way. Uh, Bear, I don't really know yet. If you want, you can, I guess, help Mikey load his train with wood. <laughs> I mean, well, I'm out the speed demon, yet. so, you know. Oh, shoot. That's what I'm going to do. Why I my need to stream? run back to the log pond and build a telegraph office. So that yep. you can access the sawmill. I'm, I'm, I'm running, oh, yeah. Running, running, running. <laughs> I see, I see your little arrow just like. Why is 